Yo. Hello. Hi, guys. Oh, it's like Friday. I'm pretty stoked on that. I usually don't even ever notice the dates or anything. Like, I really don't. I never even know what day it is. Like, I just kind of like live my life and bop around. But today actually feels like a Friday. And it also feels like I'm ready to just chill the F out. I, <laughs> I don't know if anyone else feels me right now. But if you do, we are in this day together. I'm just like, ugh, I'm just like tired, you know? Like, my dog woke me up at like 4 a.m. and I didn't get back to sleep. So I'm just like, ugh, I'm running on fumes. But it is okay because I'm actually here to do another Q, well, not really a Q&A. More so, I'm going to answer some questions that you guys have sent to me. And this edition I'm especially excited for because this is all about cannabis, which is one of my favorite things in the world <laughs> for any of the fellow uh, cannabis connoisseurs out there. I see you and I feel you. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into these questions after I take a drink. It's very important to stay hydrated. Oh, sparkling water, it's so good. Hi guys, I see all of you. I would love to say hi to every single one of you, but I cannot because I would not be answering the question. So, I'm just gonna get started. First question, do you use CBD? Please elaborate. I do, I do use CBD. So I use CBD primarily for its anti-inflammatory um, effects because as we age, you know, if you know anything about me, I'm very much all about wellness, all about longevity, all about taking care of yourself and health and fitness and all that good stuff so I um I'm all about this stuff so I do use CBD like I said I use it for its anti-inflammatory purposes mostly because honestly like I don't really get anxiety like too much I've never like I do have it like any other normal person I suppose but I never found it to help with that I but I did I just like to take it because I know that as we age it's inflammation in the body ultimately so cbd is an anti-inflammatory and i just think it's a good thing to do so that said i take 10 milligrams of cbd oil which i have in drops i use sun's oil brand it's sun it's like sun's oil um dot com and they have some really great cbd i use the mint one which is great and i just it's like a dropper and i just do 10 milligrams on my tongue every single morning I like to think it makes a difference. Like I just do it as a preventative measure. So that is the extent I've actually, <laughs> I've actually had instances where I've had too much CBD, like even like 20 milligrams. It was just way too much for me. I literally fell asleep. Like I felt like Gumby. So you can have too much CBD. So just be wary of that. But for me, 10 milligrams, and I'm a very, I'm five foot three and like 110 pounds, I'm a small person that does it for me. So next up. Number two, what are the positive effects of cannabis that you find to be true for you? Okay. So I started consistently using cannabis. Like, so this is when I say consistently, pretty much every day I'm, I'm having it. Um, for the most part, I do stick to edibles because just, you know, for me, like smoking, like, eh, I, I don't, it makes my lungs hurt. Like, you know, I will do it every so often, but I do stick to edibles and I'll have like a five milligram um, sativa gummy. I don't take that much. Five milligrams is a good amount for someone who's not really used to THC for me. I think I found that lately since I've been doing a lot of work on the computer, like a lot of writing and a lot of um, like more, and administrative shit like with my business um, I have a lot of stuff going on in the back end which you'll see soon I'm very excited to share but it's been more like a work vibe you know so I can't take that much when I was filming and when I do film I have to be in the zone and do a performance so I will take a little bit more than maybe like 10 milligrams because it just Anyways, let me backtrack. It helps me. The reason why I take it is because it helps me be perfectly present as in it. I don't think about anything else going on around me when I when I do it. I just like it helps me concentrate. Um, 
I used to take ADD meds like a long, long, this was like years ago. Um, I don't take them anymore because I don't want to be taking pills every day. I don't like that. So this really helps me focus. Um, it also just, it just helps keep me chill. Um, I just like the feeling to be honest. I like it. It doesn't, the, what I find is if I'm ever in a situation where it starts to hinder my performance, that's when I know it's time to like, okay, this is time to taper down. Um, you know, because like I said, I have five, I had, maybe this was like two weeks ago or so I had like too much. I think I had a 10 in the morning and I just felt so tired and I was like, okay, we're not going to do that again. So it's like, I know, um, how much to take and I know what it will do to me. Um, so anyways, that was a little tangent there. So those are the positive effects that I have found. Um, and again, also people, look, people have their vices. I know I am very much all about wellness and all that stuff, but the truth is like, sometimes I just want to fucking relax. Sometimes I just want to chill out. And you know, like I used to be a party girl back in the day, like in my twenties, I'm definitely not whatsoever anymore. Um, so I would just go out and drink so, so much like in college. I'm like, Oh my God, I don't know how I drank that much, but I did. And I, I don't barely even drink anymore anyways, but what I'm getting at is, you know, if I go out, like I just said, I don't really drink. I don't, alcohol really just has major effects on me. The older I've gotten, like it just, I don't like it. Like, um, so I'll have like a little bit of an edible before I go out. So it's like that kind of thing. Um, yeah, those are the effects. I hope that answered the question. Okay. Number three. What are your favorite strains slash brands? Oh boy. Okay. So hold on. Need a little sip. This is so good. It's like a blueberry pomegranate bubbly sparkling water. I love sparkling water. It's delicious. And I have a watermelon one for backup because I always need to have this on hand. Anyways, my favorite strains brands. Okay, so strains. I'm a sativa girl through and through. Like if I'm trying to chill at night, then I'll have a hybrid of some sort if it's around. Um, but like primarily I like sativa because it has a more energizing, uplifting effect. I don't really, I don't get munchies. Um, you know, whereas like an indica would make you feel sleepy. It makes me hungry. It makes me tired. That's not, I don't like an indica. I really don't like indica at all. Unless I'm like just laying down on the couch all day, which literally never happens. So anyways, sativa. Yes, all the way. Green crack. I love blue dream. I, f I love blue dream. That is probably my absolute favorite. Jack Herrera is another favorite of mine. Oh my God. What was the other one? It was like a tangy something. I forget the name of it. Those are all amazing. I love all four of those um, as far as brands. So I love uh, Kana. It's K-A-N-H-A. -A. I don't really know if it's a, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, is it legal? I can show you. It's fine. It's a medicine. It's a medicinal thing. So I have this. It's, these are really good. These are Kana by Kana infused gummies these are sativa they're cherry they're amazing i love them so very much so that's when i use a lot um i also use god i forget the brand name of it but they are these little pills um and i i bought them as pills they're 20 milligrams each and they're in this little tin i cannot think of the name of it for the life of me but i really like those because um you know, as much as I love eating gummies, I don't want to be eating candy every day. So that's why I got those. So I really like those a lot. To be honest, like I'm trying to think what else. Dr. Norm's, like the chocolate chip, the cookies, those are really good. They have some good, I think vegan, like peanut butter maybe. Those are bomb. Um, so yeah, those are like my favorites for now. I really love Chiba Chews, although I'm now I'm at the point in like my my life where it's like I'm trying to really be conscientious of what I'm put what I'm consuming as and I don't want to be eating candy all day. You know, I'm I'm I like tincture oil, that kind of thing. So that's where I'm kinda of headed. So I'll keep you all updated with that. Um, last one, number four. Do you ever see yourself working in the cannabis business? Oh shit. 
You know, it's funny. I, I look, I never say never. Like, I am like a random person, kind of. I'm very like structured and organized, but I'm also random where like I'll have all of a sudden I'll get this idea like from nowhere and then it'll just grow and grow in my head until I bring it to life. I have no doubt in my mind that that would be something that could possibly happen, especially surrounding the cannabis business because I am into it, you know, I'm passionate about it. So that would be a very organic, easy integration, if you know what I'm saying. Um, right this very moment in time, that's not something I'm looking at like right now, just because I have a lot going on in my life, but it is something that is on my burner. Um, like on the back burner, I just would need to specify like, I don't know, my own weed string. Sure, that would be amazing. You know, stuff like that. I have been looking into doing some CBD, but you know, I'll, I'll share on that later. Again, that's like a thing that's like way on the back burner. Um, but it's, it's there. And like when these things are there, like eventually they will come to life because that's just how I am. So long story short, yes, I do 100% see myself. Like I don't not see myself in it. So we will see. We will see indeed. That is all, folks. That is all. Thank you for tuning in to my little Q&A sesh. I love answering your questions. I love, I love it. If you have any questions for me, um, send them to teamfantasyfactory at gmail.com. And they're anonymous, you know, because I know sometimes people have like sex questions that like they don't want like their names attached, whatever. Like I get it. So it's all anonymous. Like I just answer the question. So um, send those to teamfantasyfactory at gmail.com. My team sends me the best ones that they think would be a good fit. So like, you know, really, really like think on it. Like don't send me dumb shit because I won't answer that. But you know, don't waste your time. But like send me questions and I'll do my best to answer them. And I'm like, what else is going on? Okay, brand new boy girl scene dropping tonight on my OnlyFans. I'm just gonna say that once because we're on Instagram. Link is in my bio. If you want to tune into that, I would not miss out on that. I'm just gonna leave it there. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't miss it. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a good one. It's a good one. So that's happening. I got another one dropping tomorrow. Brand new. By the way, all memberships to my OnlyFans are 50% off right now for Easter weekend. Right now, if you join, your membership is going to be $5 for a month. That's really fucking good. So take advantage of that. The sale ends on Monday at 11.59 p.m. EST. Do not miss out, guys. I have so much hot stuff coming your way for i mean i have the next like four months planned out so y'all are in for a treat take advantage of that just gonna throw that out there i don't do sales that often and that's it have a beautiful easter weekend or passover i don't know if passover is this weekend you know enjoy your weekend have fun i'll see you on the internet i hope and have a beautiful day